1921, there was a crash that was worse than the crash of, of 29. And this was, of course, all the unwinding of the, the bubble of World War I. And, you know, if you think the Federal Reserve is created in 1913, the income tax in 1914, we have in 1918, we're in World War I. By 1921, all of the malinvestment comes crashing down and the bubble bursts and all this stuff. And basically at the time, the national federal apparatus was brand new. You know, the progressive era was like brand new and they just didn't respond in time. By the time they started realizing they needed to respond, the, the fucking crash had already happened. It was long gone and it was cleared up, but it was painful. Don't get me wrong. But a year later, it was completely cleared up and they bounced right back and went right back into the roaring 20s. Now, they also started inflating more at that point, all that stuff. But the truth is that the free market has an unbelievable ability to um, liquidate debt and get right back onto its feet. It's really incredible. And today, the, the truth is that we could deal with this despite all of the problems that we have. It's very hard to have anything like what the pain of the Great Depression, because the truth is that we have what we have in this country right now is the most important resource of all, which is human knowledge. If you just look at the average knowledge that the average economist and physicist and doctor and pediatrician, you know, like all the, they have. They know they know so much more than they knew back then. Our technological uh, like advancements are godlike compared to what they were in 1921. And if we were to actually just do the right thing, we could clear this up very quickly, you know. But what the question that we're kind of posing here is: How likely are we to do the right thing? Like, how likely are we to allow the market to actually let recover? And that's. I got to say, pretty unlikely right well, now. 